Hi there. Today I'm going to do a right-handed tutorial for an um, alternate single crochet stitch. Now the alternate single crochet stitch is made using the back and the front loops of the stitch. If you see across the top of the stitch here, so this is the front of the stitch and I've just turned it so that you can see the top, like the top of a brick wall. There is a V on the top. Let's take the hook away and you'll be able to see it a bit more clearly. There we go. So you have two halves of a V here and here. The alternate double crochet stitch, single crochet stitch if you're using US terminology, double crochet stitch if you're using UK terminology, it uses the front loop only and the back loop only to make the stitches and we alternate between the two. So we'll do a single crochet stitch using the back loop, then the single crochet stitch using the front loop, then a single crochet stitch using the back loop, then the front and the back and so on. So if you are doing the blanket of many stitches pattern, the row starts with a chain one and then a regular single crochet into the very first stitch. Now for the next stitch in the row, we're going to do a back loop single crochet. So we are just going to work into this back loop just here. So we don't yarn over, bring that up, you can see that. Yeah, we don't yarn over, we just go straight underneath the back loop. That means you're picking up one loop on your hook. Yarn over and come back through, two loops on your hook, yarn over and pull through both of them. And for the next stitch, we're just going to work underneath the front loop, which is this one just here. So we go under the front loop, yarn over back through, two loops on your hook, yarn over through two and then back under the back loop. So in, yarn over back through, yarn over through two, and then the front loop again. And we continue that pattern sequence all the way down to the end of the row. The very last stitch in the row, if you're making the blankets of many stitches, is just a single crochet stitch. So I'm gonna finish this row off and come back to you for the next row. Here we go, ready for row two. So this is the front of row one, you can see just here. These two rows are both half double crochet stitches. So there's that row of stitches just there. We're gonna turn over. This is what it looks like on the back. And we're going to do a chain one and a regular single crochet stitch into the first stitch. Now for the second row, we reverse the sequence. So we started the first row with a, a back loop single crochet stitch. We're going to start the second row with a front loop single crochet stitch. So again, there's the V, just pick up that front loop. The front loop is always the one that's closest to you. Yarn over back through, and then we do the back loop, which is just there. You might find it easier to turn your work towards you a little like that, to find that back loop. And then a front loop stitch, and then a back loop, and so on along the row. So I'm going to finish this row off and then I'm going to come back just to show you what it looks like. Here we go. I've actually done four rows here so that you can see what it looks like. These four rows just here. Using alternating, uh, alternating back and front loop stitches gives it a really interesting texture. And that's it for today. Thank you for watching. Bye.